Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of PTT6. Um, let's continue with the uh, brand new map uh, Spillway. I'm gonna do it right now in Impopable and uh, I'm gonna use a Monkey Knowledge for this uh, gameplay. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, yet again uh, Obin. Uh, as I said, uh, Obin is like uh, one of the strongest heroes, if not the strongest hero in this uh, uh, map. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start very very simply just by getting the free that monkey uh, here in the in the in the center, uh, and then uh, upgrading it uh, zero zero one with extra range, and then placing Obin right off. So right from round the six in this case, uh, monkey knowledge uh, extra cash makes it possible to place Obin right away. And uh, now Obin, again, like he can ignore line of sight. Uh, the, his wolf attacks can go through uh, walls. You know, they can just turn in the air, trying to pop as many balloons as possible. Uh, he can pop lap balloons, so you know, too many good things to just wait uh, to, to waste and not uh, use him. Uh, now, of course, this is impopable, uh, and that means that um, the um, there is just one life uh, with monkey knowledge there is the mana shield that of course is gonna help um, and uh, yeah it's quite important uh, if you're gonna get some good tar fiber grades to to farm so to get at least some farms going and that's what uh, I'm gonna do and uh, this is gonna be a pretty standard gameplay so I'm gonna show you uh, one of the many different ways that there are to um, to complete impopable like as I said before you can because you can farm you can just go with a ton of different uh, setups and really everything uh, everything works in this case I got the ninja in this position um, because uh, is the widest line of sight available for the ninja and uh, by being a range of Obin the ninja has more pierce and then at level 11 it's gonna have more range and even greater pierce um, and yeah so just placing the ninja 101 is it's enough to survive the f this first rounds and then um, it's about getting the farms involved and start placing the farms of course so I think here at the end of the round I should have enough cash to get the first farm. Uh, no, not yet. Well, now. So I'm gonna place this first farm uh, in this corner. It doesn't really matter where. Um, the important thing is just placing it because it's the first one. Um, and. Uh, gonna just get the farm uh, one zero and most likely um, yeah one zero should be enough uh, for now I'm gonna use brambles again in round 21 and now two zero farm and then I uh, will get the ninja upgraded to one oops the correct one is there all right to one ninja so extra pierce should be all that it's needed uh, against the Kama Bloon, as I said, there is the ninja, and then uh, getting uh, the farm at uh, 220 pretty early, uh, as you can see. All right, so at this stage of the game, um, normally what I do uh, to be able to beat round 40 pretty comfortably uh, is uh, like get the ninja uh, 301. So double shuriken should definitely uh, uh, help in the next rounds. Then I try to get the uh, the bank as fast as possible, so that I can start, you know, uh, earning the cash and uh, and then the, just storing it in the bank. As I said, with Obin lap popping power, the ninja camo detention, and overall like Papage as well, with the with the shurikens being able to follow the balloons, uh, and uh, you 
have a ton of popping power. You don't really need a lot of towers to survive. And here at the end of round 33, or maybe even at the end of round 32, I may be able to get the, the bank already. Oh yeah, that's nice. Alright, so that's the bank at the beginning of round 33. Alright. Uh, now for round 40, as I did for uh, half cash, uh, getting the ninja actually is not enough because it will not really attack the mob for uh, a long time, right? Uh, we all know that the ninja will be blocked by the line of sight, and so it's just a lot better to go with uh, a wizard instead. So I'm gonna use this wizard uh, now, I'm gonna use it in chimps as you're gonna be seeing in uh, the next gameplay. Uh, I think the Archmage is just one of the best towers in this map, again, for the fact that the uh, the wizard can attack through obstacles. So you can already defeat the first uh, difficulty of this map. Placing Brambles just for the last uh, of the uh, pink rushes. That's the uh, wizard, 301 uh, should be enough. Because the ninja should be able to handle all these camo balloons. And uh, next is getting an alchemist. And in this case, I'm gonna get the alchemist pretty close to the wizard, but like leaving a lot of room here for um, uh, to buff the, the wizard and to place a village then later on. Uh, placing brambles at the beginning of round 39. If you're lucky enough, you may have. Brambles surviving until the mob round so that you have some extra damage in that way and then finally round 40 uh, I'm gonna wait to see where the two of them will spawn I'm gonna place Bramble, I don't know if that's enough in range yeah it, it was in range right so that's more than enough here we go uh, so next is just placing the village here um, I will go with a double village so one village here, and then another one, uh, um, let's see, so one, two, three farms, so I can place like three farms, one, two, three here, four, so I may get the village placed, yeah, just right, close to the, to the other one. So discount village, and uh, getting uh, another one, as I said, uh, here. So, here we go. Uh, oops, my bad. Round 42, I forgot about the camo balloons in that round. Uh, my bad. I should have got the uh, wizard, a 302. Yeah, just forgot about that. I was just thinking about the villages. Alright, here we go. So, uh, yeah, and now I don't have enough cash to place the village, so definitely. I needed that uh, camo detention right there. Alright. So in this case, this is going to be a 104 village, most likely, later on. Instead, this village will be um, just a 230 a village. Um, wait a second, I'm going to place it though a little closer to the bottom side, if possible. Yeah, here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, bank here, almost full, 8.6k. So it should be full at the end of this round. And uh, and now I'm gonna start exploiting this discount from this uh, uh, village. And I will start placing the next farms uh, here. So it should be like one. Here, all right, and then another one. Can I fit another one? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I think that's it, right? Because uh, if I place another one, yeah, I wanna, I will not have enough cash to get another one. So just one for the time being. 
uh, Alchemist uh, 400 and Village here 202. Why not? Giving some extra attack speed in the meantime. This village right now, and just getting it to buff even further the range of the of the discount village, and also because this one with this one I will get like stuff like combo detection, the MAP, and uh, so on. So uh, 401 ninja uh, as well, especially to survive these purple camo blooms, really, because otherwise uh, there is no way how you can pop them. Because the wizard, uh, even with the alchemist buff, cannot pop purple guns. So, just to remember about that. And even Obin with uh, camo detention cannot pop purple guns. So, just uh, remember that you're you're gonna need another tower to pop purple guns, especially the camo ones. Alright, so uh, this is going to be quite a similar strategy to what I'm going to use for chimps. Uh, well, just a part of it. Of course, there will be no farms. Um, but definitely using the the Archmage uh, will be uh, one thing. So here we go, Arcane Spike first. So that should solve every every problem in terms of damage and uh, stuff like that. So I can start going faster here through the rounds. Just paying attention to the banks. Now after the arcane spike, um, what I normally get next is uh, just a the, the monkey town village. So start getting already more cash uh, by by popping the balloons. And uh, any that way that allows myself as well to get the fourth upgrade that is going to increase even further the range of this discount village so I can get more farms. Uh, and uh, that's it. So it's very, very easy. The, the, this strategy that I'm going to show you, uh, at least like this part of it, works uh, on chimps as well. So uh, definitely it's going to work on Impopable with Monkey Knowledge activated. Oops, at the end of this round, the banks are gonna be full. So I'm gonna collect. There we go. Now, here is where I take the Monkey Town Village and Monkey City. So, this is the largest range available. And, uh, and now I start placing more of these uh, farms. Alright, so closer here I can to the left side, to the right side to get the discount going. Then, here should be able to get another one, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, not enough cash. Already I ran out of cash. Uh, okay, well, I didn't expect that. Oh well. So let's start going faster here through the rounds. There is no need to go slow. Um, so let's just get here uh, camo detention. Uh, why not? So that also Obi now can attack the camo balloons and also the alchemist. Uh, so most likely here I may be able to get like two more farms um, in the range of this discount village. So with one here in the left side, uh, that should be around like five farms. Maybe I can, yeah, I don't know, here it may, it may be too far away, right? Here, it's out of range of the village. Oh well, too bad. Here for sure, yeah. Probably one and uh, two. Well, I have to try. Maybe I can place like one and two. Maybe if I saw the ninja, I may be, I may be able to get another one there. Alright, so next part of the strategy. Normally what I like to do for round 63 to be 100% sure that I can pop the, um, the three ceramic rushes. Is to uh, is to get a mortar 4420. Zero, four but in this case, it, I will not have enough cash to actually get it. Uh, but 
right here after I collect the wall of trees, that should be enough. And it's mostly the stun. So as the balloons enter in the central pit, the fact that you're gonna stun them as you damage them as well is what really makes it so easy. So uh, yeah, that's why normally like a mortar is a, a another very very good tower in this case that as well I'm gonna use in a chimps. So the alchemist is buffing the arcane spike and the mortar right now. Plus I think is buffing as well Obin sometimes um, so uh, the, really the towers that are gonna I'm gonna use to go for the end are gonna be just getting here uh, as I said the mortar the biggest one then the archmage that will use as well in chimps um, then I will get the middle path upgrade for the uh, druid you're gonna be seeing, uh, I'm gonna explain to you why uh, it may also be a very uh, good idea to go with that. And uh, then most likely I'm gonna sell this ninja because right now uh, like I have the mortar with camo detention so uh, the ninja damage against like purple balloons or stuff like that is not really needed anymore. So at the end of this round, the banks are going to be full, right? Uh, yep, so. Just uh, taking some time to to do the all the placements correctly. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, the closest I can. Alright. Now, can I get here another one? Oh no, I can't already. Uh, I can't. Oh well. That's too bad. Then it's gonna be just uh, two more then. Whatever. Because even if I saw the ninja here, I don't think I can fit the third one. Yeah, there is just not enough room. Okay, well. Uh, nope, this one. So I will get instead a druid here. Okay, this druid is gonna be the, the first upgrade path of the druid and instead here oops, it's gonna be the um, the middle path upgrade druid so in this case the jungle bounty so I will get it right away with uh, more range so that I should have these five banks around the range of this druid so that should be uh, like maximum amount of cash and uh, now with the remaining cash here, what I do, what I have in the round, I'm gonna just place more of these bounty droids. So, getting more cash with ability, and uh, yeah, in that way I can gain cash also uh, in round, in between the rounds, and not just when the when the the banks are full. So I just need to forget though to remember that this one is going to be instead this druid, right? So I don't mess it up. All right, range, range, range. Um, okay, can I get just one more? Well, actually, I may get here an alchemist for this druid as well, for the uh, for the attacking one. Uh, three and yeah so I'm gonna just place it but I will not really well I will start upgrading it but that's gonna be all right so one two three six banks so far I think I'm gonna get yeah I think that's it I will not get any more uh, uh, banks six should be more than enough for what I have in mind so here just be um, ready to get the ability prepared and use it as uh, fast as you can so whenever it's off cooldown and from now on it's pretty much just waiting until the banks are full uh, and uh, using the jungle bounties so collecting the cash as well from the druids 
and from now on it's just upgrading so it's all about upgrading the towers whenever uh, the cash available is enough so of course here I could be placing more druids uh, but because I don't really have a, a lot of farms and I cannot really stack them very very close to one another like if I get another one here uh, yeah there isn't even room well there is here but I don't wanna I don't wanna have a druid uh, buffed by the alchemist that is not the this one so yeah should be should be enough should be more than enough really so the first thing that I wanna get is the spirit forest uh, so that I start getting the cash as well at the end of the round is 1000 at the end of each round and uh, then I'm gonna have most importantly I'm gonna have the the, the thorn vines uh, developing and then having them on the full map and that's uh, the, the best thing because as you get the village uh, with, with MAB the all the vines can literally um, like start damaging mob class plumes as they come out so as soon as they come out you start damaging them and uh, so you, you start doing already a lot of damage plus I don't know why but in the central pit there are a lot of vines like there are a lot of them so you do even more damage to the plumes when they are in the center You can see that with the jungle bounty actives, I'm getting about like uh, 4,000 cash each time I'm using all the five abilities. And so with the abilities, with the cash I'm earning through the rounds, that's just, that's more than enough. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, that one is it's pretty much the same. So you can see now the vines growing and see here in the center, see how many of them there are in the center. So it's like they're all stacked with one another, right? Uh, so that's so cool. And plus, uh, as I said, at the end of the round that you get the extra 1000 cash from the druid itself. So it's not just ability cash, it's also the, uh, the passive cash. Now I would also get more lives, uh, 25 each round. But unfortunately, uh, it's improbable. So there is just one life, and you can you can't increase it. Um, all right. So I have already an MIB here. So most likely, my next tower may be the Archmage. Yeah, why not? So here, just checking out when the banks are going to be full. And you can see right here the damage. See, that is going, it's going up because I'm already damaging the my God as it's walking through the vines. I'm gonna refresh actually world trees. Yeah, I think there a lot of cash was inside. So let's get here the Archmage, as I said. Uh, from now on, Super Srams. So Super Srams are a lot tougher to pop with the vines than normal blooms, uh, than the normal ceramics. But it's already uh, more ca more damage. You can see it already the like just the damage with the with the vines is uh is not bad. It's not really that bad. So after the Archmage, I think I'll get next the biggest one, just because it's very, it's pretty cheap. Um, so it's a cheap upgrade. Uh, banks here full, All right? I forgot about that as well. Okay, so that's the biggest one, and um, and our final upgrade is gonna be the Superstorm. So this thing right here. That is gonna also help me um, with the biggest one. I'm doing a lot of damage in a very large area, plus the Archmage range that is not uh, really is very large, plus the fact that the Archmage by attacking the balloons 
Sometimes the projectiles can just fly around and they can damage balloons that are very far away. Uh, you can already pop all balloon types, so you don't really need an MIB when you're getting this upgrade. And it's just super fun to see like the Zomai Gods and uh, DDTs like being uh, being pushed backwards. And as they're being pushed backwards though, they are receiving still the full damage. So uh, it's so funny. It's a pretty expensive upgrade, but as you can see, I have more than enough resources to achieve it pretty soon actually. Before round 87, I should have enough cash. So those are all the tarf upgrades I will get ready for this uh, gameplay. I will not really need more. Um, and here we go. That's the super storm. So unfortunately, the only bad thing about this upgrade is the range. Like the range does not increase with this upgrade. And uh, but yeah, whatever. All right, that's it. So now what I'm gonna do is just get this alchemist down here uh, 402 to buff the Superstorm uh, more often and then uh, probably last the last upgrade with the last time that we'll collect the banks will be this uh, alchemist to permabrew uh, yeah it's gonna be the very last one so you can see right here this this oh my god these balloons being pushed backwards see as they are receiving damage uh, normally here the best thing to do to combo this tower is with a heli in pursuit because in that way as the balloons get pushed backwards the heli still sticks on them and so fully damages them uh, and yeah that's just super super fun see here they're pushing back but they're still receiving damage from the vines so that's uh, it's a good combo yeah, but probably here, uh, after I empty the banks, I think I'm gonna get a heli, so I can just sell them all, right? Uh, because I will not really get, other than the other than the permabrew, I don't think I will get any other upgrades. So, uh, this, that monkey in the center, I like it. Right, so that's six banks, now each one of them sells for a 5k cash pretty much so if I sell uh, 6 should be 30k uh, now I have to get this upgrade it's gonna be 72k uh, yeah it should be it should be enough so I'm gonna wait most likely when the banks are gonna be full and I'm gonna collect the cash I should have already purchased the, the permabrew so that should be enough cash to like place a heli and get it right away um, 502 so that I can show you like the full combo with the Super Storm and the, the Apache Prime it's gonna be just for the last rounds but uh, it's pretty powerful oh here I forgot to get an alchemist as well oops my bad can I get it in range of the village forgot to get a uh, 032 alchemist my bad okay so that's enough cash to get the permabrew here we go uh, banks would be full at the end of next round so at the end of round 94 uh, the banks are gonna give to me 9.5 times 6 that is about like 50k cash so actually I may need to wait a little longer because if I sell them right now um, yeah I will not get enough cash well I have still the druids abilities but well if I sell the farms then the druids uh, abilities will give me just 200 cash so that's not enough <laughs> so nice oh and this oh my god still being pushed backwards So let's see. So let's collect here. I'm gonna sell just this top one just to get the the heli placed. Uh, let's see if that's enough cash. Oh yeah, that's enough. Of 
course that's enough. Okay, so that I'm gonna sell now all these banks. Uh, I'm gonna sell also all these druids, other than the the central path druid. And that's it, really. So with the remaining cash, I may just get here um, the Hamlet defense. Now here, I think I'm gonna control the heli with my finger, so that um, yeah, it's not uh, too bad. Because otherwise, the heli is gonna just change target uh, continuously, and it's gonna be very, very bad. So you normally you wait for example here for this to my god see these to my guts are being pushed backwards so you just stick the heli right there so you're damaging them as you're pushing them backwards and boom that's it and then you just move the heli towards the other uh runes in this case uh, i'm already doing so much damage that it's not even needed the knockback from the super storm so let's destroy this one first and then this one and boom. So very easy of course and impopable as you get a ton of cash. You can really go bizarre with the strategies. You can go really whatever you want. Okay here I'm gonna just destroy first these Domegas because they're, they're the one pu being pushed backwards. Alright. There we go done. No, almost. Here just to have fun I can use the village ability. So increasing the attack speed and pierce of every tower in range of that village. And that's round 98 gun. Round 99, uh, again, super, super easy. Uh, I can blow the these fortified uh, DTs backwards if I want to. So, And finally, that's the BD. Uh, so yeah, that was in Popol, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and see ya. Bye-bye.